and evening. So the other night I posted a shaved in tour video and I didn't really think it out too much and I realized I hadn't shown off any of my brushes or my soaps and I had a request from Marcus Jesus Mendez uh, to make a, a soap video. So I thought, well, I'll start with my brushes and then I'll do the soaps. So here are my brushes. And uh, first off, well, there's 11 of them here, but uh, this is the one that I use, really. I mean, most of the time in most of my videos, especially lately, you'll see this brush here. It's the Smoke 830. It's, uh, it's really, really soft, and um, it just slaps that lather all over the place. It's great. Uh, so I really enjoy this one here. Um, takes a little while to break in, but once it does, it's, it's awesome. If you're into a real dense knot, this is not the knot for you. Uh, it's not a very dense knot. It doesn't hold very much lather, but it, um, it paints it on really nice, really nice and thick. And the, the quality of lather that it produces is, you know, just how I like it. So that's why I use that one. Uh, the last week or so, I've gone back to this one. This one was my number one brush. This is the High Mountain White Badger Knot. And I, I bought that off someone, eBay or Etsy or something. And then I um, bought this handle and... Uh, Put it together myself. I glued it in there with some epoxy. This is a pretty dense knot. It holds a lot of lather and it's really nice and soft. It's, uh, would recommend this to anybody if they want a good quality silver tip. Bought this brush at Target. It's made out of horsey hair. It's <laughs> Again, this is a really nice brush. Um, it does take a little maintenance. You got to comb it. A little bit after every couple of uses because from what I hear anyways I, from what I hear is that the can get knotted up I haven't really had that problem but I have been using the comb on it but yeah this is the best painter brush I have it paints the best I don't know, it's very soft very nice I like it a lot you know, and I, I noticed when you're looking for these brushes, it's hard to find the big ones. I think they keep them short and stubby like this just so they don't knot up. But there it is. And this here, I used to use this brush quite often in my videos until I got some other ones. Uh, my only complaint about it is it's a little big. It's 26 millimeter. This is a Maggard two band knot and the handle is a razor rock monster so i took the synthetic knot out of it and i replaced it with this maggard two band which is a very nice knot i like it a lot um it's just a little bit big but it it works so these four here are my main brushes um Sometimes when I'm in the mood, I use some of these other ones, but most of the time it's actually this, this one here. Now this is the Art of Shaving Fine Badger. It's, a, the, it's the Art of Shaving's mid-grade brush. My dad bought it for me. I really like it. Um, it really works well, but it costs so much damn money that I don't feel like I'm using it so much. I don't know. I'm just into preservation, I guess. Um, probably should use it more. I mean, it was, technically it was free, so yeah, I don't know. When my dad bought it for me, maybe I should use it more. Anyways, so there it is. Um, yeah, this, this brush here, it's not very dense, um, but it holds lather good, it paints good. Um, you know? I can't complain about it. It feels good when you use it. It's, um, it's a good brush. This brush costs like four times as much as any of these brushes. Five times, I don't know. Let me just move these ones away here. We'll get to the other ones. So this one cost me 10 bucks on eBay. It's a fine badger. 
I liked it. That was one of my first brushes. I don't really use it anymore. So I bought my dad one, and then this is the one that came. And this thing's a big old 26 millimeter flopper. So my dad was like, this thing's huge. I don't use it. I was like, really? What do you mean it's huge? He's like, well, let me show it to you. Because I was thinking he had this one here. Uh, they sent this one. And uh, I agreed. I was like, well, that's huge. And <clears throat> it might be good if you're uh, going to shave your head with it or something. But uh, that's just not happening here in this bathroom. So there it is. Um, uh, don't even know if I'm going to use this brush anymore. <laughs> when I have other ones that work better. Uh, I'll give it a shot uh, sooner or later. It is a brush. It's in my den. It's got to be used or get rid of it or something. This was a uh, Vanderhagen bore bristle. Uh, I replaced the, the knot with this cheap ass Chinese supposed silver tip, but probably just a fine badger that they threw some bleach in to make the tips white. I don't know. Every time I use it, it sheds worse than my dog and it smells about the same. This is a fine badger. In theory, it should be a nice brush. When I feel it, it feels like a kitty cat. But uh, when I get it wet, it feels kind of scratchy actually. And I don't smell it now. I have to get it wet, but uh, it still stinks like a badger and it doesn't really matter how much I use it. The last two, this is the Omega Synthetic Boar. Uh, not really my thing. And then there's another boar knot, which is very nice. Some Omega Boar. I like it, but this one's a lot better. So this one gets used. Last but not least, it's not a brush, it's my Allen block. Right here. Cost me one dollar. I got it at Chinese Market. So uh, they have a bunch of these, man. And uh, so I'm in that basket searching for my favorite looking crystal. And the store owner walks to me, says, hey, you hurry up and buy. All right. What? He says, hurry up and buy. <sighs> what? Fuck you, man. He says, hurry up and buy. So I hurried up and I bought. And he said that he felt sorry for my mother. You believe that? He said, I feel sorry for your mother. I felt like shooting a guy. <laughs> okay, so uh, some of you will get that joke and some of you won't. But uh, there it is. My dumb joke there, and uh, that's it for that. I'll show the soaps now. The trouble with triples is they're born pregnant. So I'm gonna start with this group of soaps here. These are my pantry queens. Um, means that they just sit in my pantry and don't really get used. Art of shaving. Art of shaving, art of shaving, art of shaving. Um, this is sandalwood. I got uh, vetiver citron. Kingsman, this is the bourbon, bourbon scented and the uh, ocean kelp. Uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with these soaps, they're fine. Um, this one smells very nice, this one smells very nice. This one is the best smelling soap that I have in my house. Um, but the performance is just kind of mediocre. I'm really torn with this soap. I've actually used quite a bit of it. Uh, oh, I'm gonna smell it. Oh yeah, God. This is the bourbon scent awesome um, if you're getting a bad shave it's gonna go south really fast with this one uh, it'll burn your skin if you start getting some irritation 
Uh, if you get a nice smooth shade with it, it'll be fine. Uh, I do really like this one. And the reason why this is one of my pantry queens is because it, I want to save it. I want to keep it for a long time. Um, it's a limited edition. Uh, although I believe that they are continuing making the bourbon scent. I don't know if it's the same or not, but uh, God, it does smell good. And you know, it's funny too, when I bought it, I was a little disappointed with it. And then uh, I ended up liking the smell after using it two or three times. So this one, it's really boring. I don't want to use it. It's just, it doesn't do anything for me. And uh, it's art of shaving. Like it gets the job done. It's easy to laugh. It's a good soap when you're in a hurry. <laughs> Works just fine. It's expensive though. Obviously, I'm not gonna use Arco every day, so this stuff is gonna... <laughs> I do have a stick of Arco that I use kind of routinely. I like it, but you know, for eight bucks, I got a shitload of this stuff and I can't imagine ever using it up. You know, I'll be like 80 by the time I get to the second stick of this thing. Um, oh, I forgot this one here. Art of Shaving Sandalwood Puck that I grated and put in there. It's pretty good, too. Like, I mean, it's, it's Art of Shaving. What can you say? I mean, it's expensive as shit, and it's like... And it works. That's all it does. So, whatever, man. <laughs> I'm not buying any more of it. <clears throat> If you're into sandalwood scents, you might like it. Like the sandalwood. Very fresh. Anyways, I already covered those. Vico from India. This stuff, I bought it because Donald Younger did a video on it and he really liked it. And uh, I used it and um, yeah, it's fine. It's got a strong, unique scent to it. Um, it's just a cream, but yeah, so uh, nothing pushes me to take this thing out and use it. Palm of shave sticks. They're going to be worth millions one day because I heard they stopped making them. At least I heard the rumor that they stopped. So uh, those are staying in my den. This is a my retirement plan. Cella. Meh. Uh, a lot of people love this stuff. Scent's pretty good, but for me... It irritates my skin so I'm about to just toss that unless somebody wants it and get a hold of me um, now this soap here Lisa's natural herbal creations I really liked it at one time it smells pretty good um, it's just kind of hard to lather and just kind of a pain in the butt for me to work with. I don't know. But this soap probably has the best post shave of any soap, which I really don't care about because every time I'm done shaving, I put uh, moisturizer on my face and uh, I don't really need a post shave. So I'm going to choose a soap that's going to lather better and uh, provide all the slickness that I need and all that. And I get that in other soaps. Yeah, it's it's slick and uh, it has really fancy uh, schmancy ingredients like uh, ivy extract, uh, orchid extract. It's got silk peptides in it. I don't know what any of that shit is, but uh, it's good shit because it makes your skin feel pretty good when you're done with it. Uh, if you like post-shave, this soap right here is your soap. So there's that. So these are the soaps here that get more use uh, than the other soaps here. Um, got Excursion by Aleo Soapworks. Fine Platinum. Very nice smelling. Motherfucker. And uh, here's a cup of Arco stick here. This is Palm Olive Shave Stick. And uh, I don't use this one very often, but I forgot to put it in the other group. This is some old-ass Old Spice. 
and I use this on uh, special anniversaries of dead relatives. So there's that. Now, for my top soaps, my absolute favorite, Sarah. I couldn't choose a number one. Then I got all of these. got DR Harris. Now this soap here uh, is the Marlboro scent. It's very slick and uh, it provides lots of protection and it hardly has any scent to it, which I don't really care about that. I mean, I would, I would rather it have the scent, but because it performs nice and hydrates my skin and all of that stuff, uh, just I don't know, I just get a good shave when I use this stuff. So that's one of my tops. Tabac, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I always get a good shave with it. I used to think it smells like shit, but I like it now. And uh, I'm sure many of you have seen that video. And here we got Ariana and Evans. This is, uh, one of Dr. Matt's personal favorites, I think. He's always pushing this one. And for good reason, it's, um, that's a fancy soap there. That's an elite soap. Um, all three of these are good, but this one has the post shave. So this one here might be the best soap that I have. I don't wanna say it's the best cause I like the other ones, uh, but for some, this one might be the best. Uh, and then we got all of these Wild West. Some of them are safe, or safe queens. My guns are in the safe. I got the safe queens there. I got the, sh I got the soap queens here, the, the den queens. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. The guy who makes these, I don't think he's going to make them anymore. The guy's got health problems. And I'm not going to get into it, but, uh, I think he's out of business. I can't get a hold of him. And uh, this is the one that I like to use. So there's my soap. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section if you uh, have any questions or you want to make a suggestion. Um, oh, uh, I am looking for a synthetic brush and so if anybody has any suggestions on synthetic brushes i'm uh, open to hearing what you got to offer me y'all take care